Thanks for staying with me here at Crosstalk. I promise to conclude the story of my distracted Bible study on the morning after Christmas. In case you missed the beginning of this program, I'll simply say that my morning prayers had been quite self-centered. My time in Bible study had been distracted and unfulfilling. The words in my Bible had become a blur on the pages, and God seemed to be nowhere near that coffee shop where we had met so many mornings before. My reading had been interrupted by a cell phone call. I put the phone down, gathered my thoughts, and reread the 12th verse of chapter 6 of Luke. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Jesus prayed all night, yet I was realizing that I could barely keep my mind on him for a short while. I read a little further and received a revelation from the Lord. The blur cleared, and a truth jumped out at me from the pages of Luke. Jesus was praying through the night, but that night he wasn't in the garden com contemplating his crucifixion. Whenever I think of Jesus praying through the night, I focus on that fateful Passover night prior to his arrest, just preceding his brutal execution. Yet the text of the sixth chapter of Luke refers to a much earlier event in the life of Christ. In fact, it was at the beginning of his ministry. Once again, Jesus prayed all night, but in this situation, he was praying about the choice of his disciples. You see, the Bible tells us that it was in the morning after a full night of praying that Jesus called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles. Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zealots, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. What a tremendous text! What a revelation! Jesus prayed all night to make the right decisions about building His church, and look what happened. After praying earnestly, He chose His group of disciples, and He carefully selected His inner circle that would make up the short list of apostles. But even after all that prayer, Jesus picked Judas, and Judas was to betray Him. Wow! You'd think after all that praying, He would have done a better job. But guess what? That is the real revelation. Without Judas to betray him, where would we be? Jesus loved us so much that he took great care in selecting his friends, but I think he took even more time to pick his enemies. Jesus was careful to make sure that Judas was close by and ready to turn him into the authorities. That is how much Jesus loves us. But how much do you love Jesus? Will you stand with him? There really is no middle ground. Either you are with him or you are against him. If you were undecided about the person of Christ at Christmas, what will change in the new year? Perhaps you would like to discuss your concerns about Jesus. We would be honored to pray with you if you feel that it is time for you to take your stand with the true Christ of Christmas. Maybe a parent or a grandparent has been praying for you. Maybe you acknowledged the Lord at an earlier time in your life, but your faith has grown cold. Maybe a Christmas long ago brought true meaning, but along the way you allowed the world to distract you from God's desire for your life. If I'm talking to you, will you give me a call? My number is 1-800-688-3422. We can help you enter the new year with new hope if that is your desire. If your heart is heavy, you can call me. I read my mail, so you can also write to me at Crosstalk. P.O. Box 2528, Cedar Hill, Texas, 75106, USA. If you prefer, visit my website at www.crosstalk.org. I hope we can all make a great New Year's resolution. This year, I want to draw closer to God. How about you? Is that what you want? It's time to get serious with Jesus because there may not be much time left. So don't wait till next year. Don't let another season pass without the Lord. My prayer is that you will be drawn into an ever-deepening relationship with the God of creation and His Son who came to die for you. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you had a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, and I pray you will have a wonderful new year. Till we meet again, Shalom and God bless. You can rest assured that Randy generally reads all of his mail and he would love to hear from you. 
So drop him a line or send your prayer request to Crosstalk, P.O. Box 2528, Cedar Hill, Texas, 75106, USA. He also wants to send you a free copy of the Gospel of John. Call 1-800-688-3422 or visit his website at www.crosstalk.org.